Welcome back to a brand new vlog. Do you know, I was just telling Alex actually, I um, for some reason I've been looking back at really old vlogs from the past few years. I think I went back looking for a makeup product or something. I realised how long I've been saying, hey guys, welcome to a brand new vlog. Yeah. Years. I didn't realise. Maybe I should switch that up a bit. Maybe I should just... A bit like Casey Neistat, he never said hi, he just got straight into what he's talking about. Maybe I should just do that. Yes, I had a week off this week, a week off vlogging. Honestly, you guys would have been really probably bored with what was not going on, like barely anything went on last week, apart from I went to Sheffield to see the Flannels Beauty Store in Sheffield. It's inside a place called Meadow Hall which I kind of liken to a bit like a Trafford Centre, but on a small scale. Trafford Centre's in Manchester. Like a small shopping centre that's been specifically built a bit outside of the city, so you've got to kind of drive there. And there's a beautiful, be like seriously beautiful flannels beauty store in there. I'm not just saying that because I'm an ambassador. Genuinely, the way they've designed it, it's really chic, very modern, updated, and a really innovative space. Anyway, me and Bryony went, went up there at like 8.30 at night because we had to do some filming in there after hours, so after it shut, it shut at 9.30. So we went up in a, in a cab. I had a good old natter all the way in the cab, although the guy was speeding so badly we were just kind of watching the road the whole time like, we might die here. And like, we actually had to ask him to slow down at one point, like, it's crazy. Anyway, we get there. Um, I met up with Sarah Jossel from Sunny Time Style. She is just amazing and we filmed a video for the T Sunday Time Style uh, YouTube channel but we were filming until 1.30 a.m. and then we had to come home so I got in at half three didn't I and bless Alex at 1.30 I got a text from him saying are you coming home soon like he'd waited up for me and I didn't realize that you'd waited and I felt awful didn't I <laughs> I just didn't realize that you'd waited up, I thought I'd told you it's gonna be really late. So I thought that was just absolutely adorable and you were there at home, it's like, hello, where are you? And then you sent me a picture as well of Bo, Bo on the end of the bed, just looking at the door like, where's mommy gone? Ooh, my boy. I'll just insert a quick clip of that. Hey guys. <laughs> So, little sneak peek behind the scenes, we are doing some shooting today um, for a video for Sunday Time Style with Sarah Jossel. It is incredible in here. I need to show you around a little bit because it's so gorgeous. It's such a unique, modern concept for a beauty department store. It looks amazing. There are so many brands in here that I've never actually seen in a department store in this way. So, I really wanted to show you. The Gucci area is absolutely gorgeous. I didn't realise that Gucci had so many products actually, but this is such a gorgeous display. There's obviously a Mac, there's an enormous Jo Malone back here, a stunning Dior over here in the corner. We stock Morphe, which I didn't realise was stocked in any UK store, so that's amazing. Tom Ford, Le Labo over here. Lauda, Laura Mercier, Briny. Yeah, it's really gorgeous. Here in the middle I have this beauty bar. So you can sit and you can kind of try on makeup. And then we've got Patrick Tarr, which is an exclusive, I think, in store, which looks just beautiful. This is such a fantastic idea though. These are the beauty changing rooms. So you can come along, it's got incredible lighting inside of here come along with a friend or just on your own you can try and make up comfortably in private if you want to so if you're someone that doesn't want to be seen in public putting on makeup or if for any like religious reasons you can't take off any kind of headdresses or anything you can come into here completely privately I think it's such 
a brilliant idea, such a simple idea, but so, like, no one has ever done this before. I think it's amazing. It's also got um, a wind machine, a little wind machine, so you can take pictures. But how fantastic is this? They've got a couple of these. These are beauty changing rooms. But I love the way that everything's laid out. It's so modern, so chic in here. It's kind of like the beauty department store of the absolute future. Like, I'm really blown away. The way everything's laid out, I just genuinely want to shop. <laughs> Which says a lot for someone who has a lot of beauty products. Wow, look at this huge lumiere. Yes, so we are now going to get shooting. We're going to be around the store here and there and um, just kind of having a little interview and talking about our favourite products and beauty products to buy for friends and family for Christmas. So as soon as I know when the video is out, I will direct you there and I'll tell you about it. So I'm quite excited to get shooting actually now. How amazing is this outfit guys? These boots, I absolutely need these boots. So this is all from Flannels obviously, with Flannels Beauty being in here, there's all the women's wear over there. So it's like a full Balmain look with the banker shorts, and then matching blazer. So I'm just going to like scoop this up so it's a bit more like cash. And then the matching boots are just amazing, aren't they amazing these boots? They absolutely yes. need these, they absolutely need these. And um, yeah, it's top to my makeup so I look ready to go now. Yeah, so that was, that was kind of last week. What else did we do last week babe? Um, does that include yesterday going into London? Is that last week? No, well, I mean, this weekend we've had a fantastic weekend, haven't we? We had the weekend off and just really enjoyed it, didn't we? And we're just a bit more proactive than we than we usually are. Yeah, we were really we're, proactive. Well, because we spend so much time together through the week doing things, and sometimes we do quite some exciting stuff. Mm. So it gets to the weekend sometimes and we're just like, we just want to like... Flat out. Yeah, just veg and do absolutely nothing. So this weekend... We went into a local village nearby and we had a lovely um, lunch. We walked Bo around, we had a lovely lunch, we got a coffee. We just had a little walk, didn't we? And then we came home, sat in the garden, put the fire pit on in the garden, had hot chocolate outside. Oh gosh, of course, we also had Charlie and Josie over on Friday. <laughs> Charlie and Josie came over Friday, so actually Friday. Again, I took off and we just cleaned the house and we went to Waitrose and bought food and yeah, we had, honestly, the most fantastic time. I love Josie and Charlie. They're just the most wonderful, fun, wonderful people. We had such good chats, didn't we? We had a fantastic meal. Um, so that's kind of catching you up on everything. And then yesterday we went into London because I needed to shoot a new campaign with Todd's. So at the moment I'm working with Todd's. I'm one of just a few people globally that they're working with on different campaigns, which is really cool. And so we had to get, I needed an urban background. They wanted it to be a bit more urban. Um, the backdrop. So we went into London yesterday and again it was brilliant wasn't it? We went to Notting Hill, we went and sat outside Bodyism and got ourselves coffees and shakes and I did acai bowl, you had some amazing tacos. So right now the day has started Monday morning and because I had last week off I'm feeling really motivated if you couldn't tell from that intro um, I'm feeling really motivated. Also, I'm very much that person who's like, tidy house, tidy mind. I can't work if I know that things are untidy. So that's why I thought, I'll get the bed done this morning, got a brand new mattress topper on the bed, got that sorted. And I wanted to put the brand new washed linen on the, the guest bedroom bed. So that's all done. So now I'm at work and I just want to edit some of these well, I'm not going to edit them. Alex is going to edit these Todd's photos. But the way that we work is that when we shoot, I go through, I do the first run through of the pics and filter out what I do and don't like. Um, we use Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom. Filter out the pictures we do and don't like. I mean, some of these are really great. I mean, that's a cool shot. So I do first, I do the first look and kind of like a small edit of... The kind of vibe of the pictures just because I always like to at least add a preset or a rough kind of crop so I can tell what it's gonna look like at least like if I'm just gonna go through some of my aura presets and see if any of these look kind of cool on it I'm gonna slightly turn down the saturation of the oranges just so my legs aren't too orange yeah, I mean, this kind of, this kind of vibe is kind of cool. Anyway, so I'm just going to go through and check what we got. I do, so I do like a rough edit, then I do a second edit. I mean, some of these are really cool, but it's all about the bag. 
the idea is that it's a carousel and you're not allowed to you're not meant to see who I am until the final shot so that's why I'm cropping out my face from this too green about this shot. We might play, we could play with the greens and make the greens a little bit more blue. Well that was the point, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so, so before I carry on for ages, I'm just going to do this now and go through and just choose the ones that I think really work and then I'll pass it over to Alex who does like the proper professional edit on it because he's just amazing at edits. chosen my three faves I've given them like a really light edit and a crop colouring a little bit and Alex is now going to make them look amazing whilst I what am I going to do next job on my list we've just eaten next on my list because obviously it's autumn winter now coming more into winter it's getting chilly um, I always like to kind of clear out my coats and I've realised I've not done this in a little while and it has got a little bit silly. Yeah, so um, in here, it's quite a stressful area, I must, I must admit. I haven't kind of kept on top of it because I've not cleaned it out, out in ages. Like up here, I keep a lot of like empty boxes, but I also keep my nail varnishes, especially over lockdown when I couldn't go and get my shellac done. I did it all myself. So all that needs clearing up. I've got all my hats up here. It's all a bit of a mess. But then I have my large coats that I wear all the time in here but it definitely needs a clear out by doing this i could kind of show you a bit of a rundown as well of my coat collection first up this gorgeous reese coat just need a bit of a dry clean but it's an amazing like long line white wool coat um, it's definitely one i'm going to keep because it's a classic shape it's a classic color and it's definitely going to be one of those things that if i am going out somewhere and i'm like i just need a white coat to wear over this like special dress you know it's perfect um, I then have this little baby, this Stella number with this wool, it's kind of got this beautiful wool knitted collar section and it's like a cocoon shape. It's an absolutely amazing coat. I absolutely adore it. So again, it's not going anywhere. This one, however, I think I'm gonna sell straight away. It's just not, as much as I've been trying to get onto the teddy coat hype, and when I wear them, I do, I do rather love them on me, but I just don't reach for them the same. It's just not as me. This is a beautiful one from Gerard Durrell. I wore it on the very last trip I did to Finland right before the lockdown happened, and I wore it then, loved it. But yeah, this, this is going to come out. Next up, we have one of my favourite coats we've bought, the Max Mara Camel Coat. It's kind of a bit more of a wrap shape, it's not got any buttons on this, so it just kind of wraps around. And then it has a belted section, but I really love this one because it was part of a special, a special collection that they did. So again, it's going nowhere, it's just a classic, perfect, perfect coat. Then we get into the bit of the, the Holland Cooper collection starts here. Black perfect maxi trench in wool just looks absolutely divine and it has the hound's tooth under the collar then we have the black watch color in the gorgeous very deep navy and forest green so this is slightly different to my collection suit which is is more of an emerald check which is why i call it the emerald check much brighter whereas this one is a very very deep blue almost black yeah black watch color and then it's got the beautiful faux shielding around the collar again i mean i'm not pulling these out for a reason they're going nowhere this coat is a very special coat that I was given, I was made this for my birthday by the Holland Cooper team. It's the most amazing fabric. I love it. Um, yeah, and that was a gift that they made me. So I can't wait to wear that. I've also got the full camel. This is a camel kind of half trench. So this isn't full maxi, but it's just the most beautiful, just wearable everyday kind of camel coat trench. Talking of camel, this this coat is my most complimented piece of clothing I've ever bought. I think I've told you before, there was one day, the first day I was into London, I think I was stopped seven times, about seven times. And that doesn't include people that would point at me as I went past going, wow. Like People seem to go crazy about this coat. I've had many people ask me to buy this off me. And honestly, I don't think I'll ever be able to get rid of it. It is absolutely amazing, this coat. So, oh, that's 
from MSGM by the way. I, I've looked for it since many many times to try and help people out getting it but they just don't seem to do it. Maybe keep your eyes on like Depop or Vestia in case anyone sells one. Then back to the maxi trenches I've got the red Holland Cooper maxi trench in the gorgeous red tartan. Then we have another. This is the long line maxi trench in the camel which again is just the most incredibly wonderful shape then no, how many do i have one two three four five got five maxi trenches from holland cooper six i've not got through them all yet seven with this one i think this of course is my collection coat this by the way in case you missed me mentioning we now make this in a petite I got so many requests for it. I spoke to the team and they're like, yes, let's just do it. They spoke to the factory to ensure they could do it. And they're now making this in petite. You can still get this. It's, I think we might have had a couple, maybe two size 12s left, ready for dispatch. But we are making these to order. So if you want, if you still want one, you've got loads of time. It'll be made in three weeks. It's been made from scratch in the factory for you. So you get your own beautiful piece made like straight away and then sent to you like this is literally made in the uh, manufacturer straight to your your door the feedback on this coat so far has been out of this world people are blown away by the quality it is um it's a dream last but not least in terms of the maxi wool trenches is the full houndstooth again it's so classy like super sophisticated classy that is quite the collection of maxis my goodness me then maxi but not a trench we've got the enormous new puffer coats that Holland Cooper are making this one is absolutely just a beautiful beautiful coat and what's so wonderful is that this isn't a printed fabric this is a raised up almost velveteen finish like I hope you can see but it's yeah it's not printed it's a like velvet finish topped fabric like uber quality and it looks so cool like this this kind of big long puffer coat is so in anyway right now they just nailed it with this collection um i do have another one of those actually but it's in a different closet right now because it won't fit here so one thing straight away that i'm going to pull out which i'll be really really sad about is this incredible reese pea coat i actually bought the exact same one for my mum as a treat because she loved it so much when I wore it. And you know what? Like, this looks brand new. Um, I have worn it and I absolutely loved it. It looked awesome. But again, I've not reached this in about three years. It's great, this coat, isn't it? I really like that. I love it too, but I just had too many coats. I know, I mean, poor me, but I can't fit all... I can't keep coats forever. No, you can't because I've got some stuff I need to put in these wardrobes, <laughs> so... So I'll be sad, but I'll, yeah, I'll, this will go on my vestiaire as well. All the coats I'm pulling out will be on my vestiaire, just in the fro. I wish that'd fit me, it's really nice. It's so nice. Well, Mum's got one. I bought one for Mum. Did you? She loves it, yeah. Right. Okay, this might be one that I think I will, again, I'll put this on my vestiaire. This is a really beautiful Reese coat. It's got a very light pink tone. And this gorgeous, again, for like a faux... Um, faux fur trim i think it's so super soft um it's just very classy like if you go into like a christmas party wearing a gorgeous little dress and you want to put this on just feel really snug this is the dream the reason i'm giving this up you'll see in a sec i've got something sort of similar that i love a little bit more than this and again i haven't reached for this in years so that'll go on vestiaire don't know where i'm going to put these coats whilst i <laughs> wait to sell them i've got like no space anywhere right i've got two now i've got two trenches here i've got a classic burberry kind of shorter trench i remember when i bought this i was so so over the moon to have this burberry i loved it i just haven't worn it i haven't worn this in a good five years but then i also have this incredible aquascutum trench that is just long line and just so classic do you know what i think i'm gonna keep that i might sell my burberry I'm being, I'm being so brutal here but i just can't just keep things for the sake of it and again someone would likely bloody love this this is the kensington burberry trench with the uh burberry check underneath the collar um yeah i'll just give it a little bit of a, a clean up get the makeup off it but otherwise yeah i'll put that onto this year um yeah so the aquascutum trench i've had for a number of years i love it that's kind of so classic i'm gonna keep that this is the coat I was mentioning that I'm going to keep instead of the Reese one. This is Gerard Durrell. It is absolutely amazing. Like, look at this coat. 
this coat is also reversible. So one side is a faux shearling. And this, this as well, equates to me, for me, as a teddy coat. It just looks so fab on. I just absolutely love it. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this, but also what's wonderful, like I said, is that it's, it's completely reversible and you can have it instead on the suede side. So one side is completely suede and of course with the, the shearling trim. So it's an absolute dream of a coat. So that, that is going to be my teddy coat of sorts for my collection to keep. Next one, this is a coat. I'm not sure if they still sell this now, but this is from a brand called Cult Studios. And it's like a sub brand of Super Dry. Um, I've got a number of their pieces and they're all sustainably made and beautiful quality. And this coat I got last season, it's like a cocoon shape. It's a lovely, really lovely wool. It's a gorgeous color. So um, again, I might put this here with my camel section, but it's a nice, very neutral tone for a lot of different occasions so i'll get that there another coat that i don't think i could ever really give up again this has so much makeup on it i need to give it a really good clean up this is a gucci coat that i bought a number of years ago maybe five years ago now gorgeous it's so beautiful again very classic in the navy the beautiful like gucci features on it this balenciaga it's a balenciaga denim jacket that i got again years ago and it was on sale actually I think at Louise of the Aroma and it's on sale for a really great price and I've worn it so much so cozy so again it's a keeper then I have one of the incredible Holland Cooper camel capes again this faux shearling collar um, wraps and it's into a full cape so again it's just a great shape to keep in my wardrobe in case something comes up I'm also gonna move across into here my Fendi, my Fendi Co. I bought this last, um, I actually bought this in like February, March, I think, of this year. And loads of people were like, Victoria, for the amount of money you're paying for that coat, you're never gonna wear it. And I was like, no, I'll wear it next season when it's cold again. And I can't wait to do so. So that can go in here. I just like all my most used my most used coats to be in here so I can come straight to it and see them all laid out looking amazing. Oh, I mean honestly in this side I've got so many other fantastic coat jackets that are like shorter which is why I keep them in here this is a bit of a longer space but I can't, I can't fit any more in here so I might have to do a little bit change of rooming. Um, for instance this isn't a coat, I've been doing coats really. Um, this is, oh, this is a jacket, but again, it's a Holland Cooper. I just have so much on Holland Cooper. Why is it this horrible, horrible thing? Um, I might move this over actually, potentially into the coat, because um, it's so beautiful. The Holland Cooper emerald green leather jacket. Go on, I'll see if I can get that in here so then I can really see it. The only other one I'm going to move over is my Prada. The Prada jacket as well in the beige which I wear all the time so they can all sit in here and then now I've got a really good look of all the coats I really want to wear for this season yeah so that's my coat collection guys I'm glad I've done that actually it's been annoying me that I've not been able to get anything else in here um so that's that's far better all of this up here I'm just gonna leave for now because I'm not in the mood but at least I can see all my coats and I know where they all are which is great Next up on today's agenda, this feels like a day, a day vlog, a day in the life. I need to take my car into the showroom to get some screws put in it that seem to be missing. Don't know how that's happened, but there are some screws missing in the wheel arch. So I'm going to quickly take those in. I was meant to go at 10 this morning. Somehow have completely forgotten to even check my diary today. I've just got on with the things I really wanted to do. Forgotten that I had an appointment this morning. Luckily they can fit me in. So we now it's going to have a little trip over there. A little drive out. Why not? I've also just updated and some more bits onto my outfit today, which I'm really quite loving. So as I was wearing earlier, my linen trousers. This is a matching linen blazer that I've just got rolled up for a little bit more shape over the orange, beautiful orange jumper. I'm wearing my Athene hoops as well with the beautiful little pendants. And then my uh, Jean Vito Rossi beige, like pinky beige boots. It's quite a very, it's a very autumnal tonal 
outfit and I'm loving it. Um, if you didn't see my stories as well guys, we now sell a number of my Edge of Ember collection pieces in bundles. We've made like stacks. Let me put your, you're quite low. Um, we've made stacks of earrings. So we've got some anklets and also necklaces that we've put together in stacks for any of you who aren't sure about layering different necklaces or rings or earrings together and I just want a little bit of advice on it but also you'll save some money as well they're discounted if you buy them in bundles we just thought it'd be a really nice thing to do especially towards the end of the year so go take a peek I'm pretty sure that the Athene hoops are in with another piece potentially the looks or cuffs you can buy them as like a bundle so it's really cool I'll leave links down below if you are looking to pick up anything you might find that your favorite thing you've been waiting for is now in a bundle so it can save even more which is great oh I'm steaming steamy windows hey guys so the day continues to be a really fantastic productive day it's been a good day fingers crossed I've not just jinxed that well it's starting to rain but hey ho we went along to the showroom and they very kindly put some new screws in the wheel flat for us. Amazing service. Cool. Yep. And while we were there, we looked at a few other little cars, so that's always fun. Alex has just been to get some food. Right, I really wanted to film this later for you guys, so make sure that we don't forget. Alex is gonna make, what are you making? Um, buffalo, buffalo cauliflower wings? It's called buffalo cauliflower wrap. We're not doing a sandwich. Yeah, we're doing a wrap. Yeah, back home feel very productive about today. He's so excited! He's so excited! What have you been doing? What have you been up to tell me everything you've been doing for the past hour? You tell me. Tell me what you've been doing, my happy boy. Hey, beautiful boy. <laughs> so I'm on cooking duty tonight and I'm going to be making buffalo cauliflower wraps. I had them on a sandwich when I was in Macclesfield with my friend a few weeks ago and it was amazing. So I thought I'm going to have a go at making it myself. I found a recipe online. Fingers crossed it's good. If it is good, I'll get Vic to link it down below for you. So even better, right now I found a YouTube video so I'm literally just following it step by step to make it. It's only like a minute long so this shouldn't take any time at all. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Cali. Oh, it's all right. Wow. Yeah, Whoa. I'm happy to go with that. That looks awesome. Different, right? Yum. And then, so what you're gonna do? You're gonna like cut it up and put it, and we put it in wraps that way. I reckon it could probably do a little longer. You know? No, no, it looks delicious. It looks perfect. Please come here. I'm so hungry. <laughs> it looks perfect. Oh, yes. So, as you can see, you can kind of have a habit as like a steak. Oh or yeah, have, like, like a wing size. Oh. So I've done like a couple of different versions. That's so to cool. See how it would go for next time. That is great. I'm sure it's going to be extremely delicious. I'm really excited about this. And Alex has made this ranch. Did you show them the ranch too? No. He's made this homemade ranch dressing too. Like a very lucky lady right now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. We're gonna we're gonna eat up our. This has literally been like a day in the life to this. Strange. We're gonna eat up this dinner. I'm gonna wait maybe 40 minutes or so, let it go down, and then down. Um, and then I'm going to have a workout for the night, which I'll bring you along to later, why not? Right, I'm having, so I've got a bit of ranch, got a few pieces of this. Oh, and then I'm gonna put in a little bit of fire life. Lettuce. Okay, all right, all right. Get your greens. I'll do it the way you want it. Bit of lettuce. I put ice and water, or cold water and put that in the fridge and I'll let that out to us. Yeah, all right, I'll have a little too then. Why not? Bit of red onion, some bilaci ice, and I'm gonna, I am gonna. might have to have mine without beans now. Yeah, I'm not putting beans on mine, I shove that as a side. Oh, all right then. That ranch dressing is awesome. This is a taste sensation. This is freaking awesome. Wow, <laughs> how have you made these so right? Thick, like dense. Is it because it's a sauce, like a thick sauce? Is that why? That's so good. This is like, this might be one of the best things you've ever made. Really? Yeah. You cook it. Mm. So you make a sauce of like flour to begin with, and um, 
they had like all your bits and bobs in it and then you cook it, you like half cook it oh. and then you pull it back out and then you have the Frank's red hot sauce with butter and you batter it again and you put it back in again. No wonder it's taking you so long. It's not taking me that long I don't think. It's taking me an hour amazing. I think. Do you know what this would taste good on too? On cod. I think this is going to be the next thing we're just going to start eating. Yeah, all the time. But we've got loads here, we probably can save some for tomorrow. This is... Honestly, like, and I'm not so just saying good. it, like, I never react like this with food, but yeah, this no. is so good. It was so good. Okay, guys, so, it's now five past nine. I finished up dinner, finished up dinner, then I cleaned the kitchen as I always do. Alex cooks. I clean because I think he's a better cook and I'm a better cleaner. And he enjoys the cooking whereas I much more enjoy the cleaning and reaping the rewards of the cleaning. I'm fine with that. So I've got everything clean and tidy. I then edited a reel that I shot earlier on today. That's the one thing I didn't show you. I shot a reel of the outfit that I was wearing. And so I've got a little bit of content for Instagram. And now I've just got myself ready. So I am wearing, for today's gym session, I'm wearing Carly Rowena's gym set. I would usually be wearing the little shorts, but as it is getting chillier these days, it's really quite cold now, I am on the full leggings. These are honestly, I've said it many times before, these are the, like some of the softest fabric I've ever felt. They're so wonderful. And I'm wearing as well the socks from the same range with the matching leopard print tops. Uh, again, I might take them off, it depends. I think, um, oh yeah, and then the bralette is beautiful lattice work straps through the back. I know it's so easy for me to be like, oh, I so recommend you get this because, because they're so amazing and I'm Carly's friend and she deserves it, but actually I am obsessed with this set. Um, as soon as this comes out the wash, it just came out the wash, it's back on me because I just feel so lovely wearing it. It just fits so wonderfully it's not too tight but it's beautifully fitted and it's so soft it's so flattering so i also got a really lovely package this week as well from the peloton team who sent me um a few little bits actually including a gym kit which i meant to show you last week completely forgot and cosina's hair this bow's hair all over this thing but it's just this black black fleecy crop um, I love it I absolutely love it I wear it most nights now especially if I'm getting ready for going in the gym I'll put this on and then as soon as I get on the bike I quickly take it off and get ready and I'll put it straight on back after put it on as soon as I've got off the bike um, so yeah thank you so much to the Peloton team I absolutely love it like it's just a perfect like throw over jumper Right, so let's go. And I think today, I have been doing a spin every day. Today though, I really fancy doing a Pilates class and it's the same class that I did last week with Susie. We both did this bums class, like 30 minute legs and bums. It was hard to walk for about three days after, so I know it did some good. So I wanna do that again. So I might actually have to put this on to start my workout because it's a bit cold in here. Oh, yeah, so I have this app called the Pilates class. It's got loads of different classes on it. You subscribe to it. It's got loads of classes on here. Um, the one that we did that was so good. class there are so many different types of classes on there and she's always uploading so I feel like every time that I do a class it's slightly different and kind of hits different muscles so good right time for a shower and then bed so I'll see you in the morning okay. 
Hey guys! Okay, long time, in fact, not a long time, um, a day without any speaking to you. Um, we're actually just on our way out. I am ready, I'm all glammed up for the night. We're going to the reveal of the brand new Range Rover. We've been invited along, which is really, really lovely. I feel very privileged to go along, so we're gonna see the brand new Range Rover, the Royal Albert Hall. So we've got ourselves dolled up. I'm wearing my blue suit, I think Alex is wearing his blue suit. <laughs> so excited to wear this. I got this a few months ago. Maybe even five months ago now, I've had nothing to wear it for and it looks amazing. It's got this huge, like, belted section. So I am all dolled up for the evening. I'm very, very excited about this. I'm wearing my Athene hoops with the cuff. And I did check, this is what is in the bundle. The whole thing is in the bundle together. I'm wearing my beautiful deal bag and this gorgeous little bra underneath. Um, I'll link it if I can find it. I know it's usually always sold out. I think it's by a brand called Coco de Mer, I think. And then I've got some Bulgari jewels on, mixed in with my Athene ring, for example. A little Bulgari ring, kind of mixed it all up a little bit. So I'm excited to go out. Okay, guys, so we had a slight mishap. Oh, no, we went to the, we went to the wrong place. To the wrong royal. We, we thought we were going to the Royal Albert Hall, so we turned up there. Realised the clientele wasn't quite, wasn't quite our age. I realised realize we're at the wrong... Got a picture of Cliff Richard. <laughs> so it was a Cliff Richard concert. And then we realised that we were meant to be going to the Royal Opera House. So we jumped it back in a cab and took another half an hour again. But just made it on time. We right? just made it on time for the big reveal. So thank goodness we got here. A chariot for ladies and gentlemen. 23 inch wheels that give that the vehicle, that strength, that, that purpose. So there it is, the new face of Range Rover. It communicates prestige, refinement, and confidence. And I could quite happily sleep in there at night. <laughs> it's not following fashion, it's not following trends. It's informed by an absolute desire for perfection. Look at this. A quick midnight debrief. Snack. We just got back. Pippa not. It's amazing. I'm, I'm literally at the bottom of it though. I don't want it to go, it's so good. This is the ultimate peanut butter extra crunchy dark roast. Such a lovely evening. Thank you so much to the Range Rover team, the Land Rover team, for inviting me out along. The new car is spectacular. Looks phenomenal, this new car. And the shape is really streamlined, no fuss. And some of the interior decor finishes are just so luxurious and so superior. It's almost like a first class flight experience inside of a car. It's really something else. So we had such a lovely time. We saw Larry, our hairdresser Larry King. We saw him there, so we had a little catch up. And, um, and then headed home and unfortunately missed a train, which meant that the next train got us home like an hour later, <laughs> which is typical. But we're back. We've had a lovely little greeting from our beau. And now we're gonna get into bed. <laughs>